Your fave celeb couples were cupcaking all weekend. Meanwhile, things got serious between me and some tacos last night. Hi friends, I've got no shame. Welcome to the Daily Denny. Now I know you guys had a good weekend just looking at our new Music Friday poll because we had over a thousand votes and 56% of y'all were feeling that Future and Nicki track you to baddest, which means I know you were jamming and you weren't alone. Jennifer Lopez and Alex Rodriguez were serving straight weekend vibes. Check out these lovebirds cruising in A-Rod's car. Old school New York, what you know about it? I've said this before, but they are quickly becoming my fave celebrity couple. That being said, they are still not John and Chrissy level, you know? Like I'm giving them in that moment an 8.5 on the John and Chrissy scale because A-Rod isn't swooning enough. I know you're driving, sir, but J-Lo is vibing and you look bored. Meanwhile, Britney Spears and her boyfriend actor model Sam Asghari are over here being silly in this very colorful clip Brit Brit posted on Saturday, goofing around with her man. Sam looks smitten, but here's my hot take. Are we buying this relationship? Feels a little too Instagram perfect to me. And I say this because I have Britney's best interest at heart, and I'm afraid he's over here collecting followers and likes, which is why I'm giving them a six on the John and Chrissy scale. I'm sorry, there's still time to move up, guys, don't worry. But you know, someone down for curves and all the edges is Liam Hemsworth. Yossi was just snapped sharing a passionate kiss with Rebel Wilson. No, Liam is not leaving Miley for Rebel. The co-stars are on the set of their new comedy, Isn't It Romantic? And nothing screams romance like a green screen, people. Meanwhile, Blake Lively is opening up to Glamour Magazine about life at home with her hubby, Ryan Reynolds, and their two daughters. And it's not what you'd expect. Blake shoots down the perception that she has a perfect life by saying she loves Ryan most of the time. I'm sorry, what? Apparently, she tells the Mac, quote, if I say I'm so in love with him all the time, then you get that eye rolling, oh, her life is so great, she's so perfect. So it's like my defense mechanism. Okay, 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 I got you. That is fair, Blake. But let me remind you, your man is fine and funny as hell, which is why he is the perfect Deadpool. And thankfully for fans out there, today Ryan tweeted a first look at Zazie Beetz as Domino in the sequel, writing, some people just know how to work a red carpet. Now the photo is totally a callback to that first photo of Ryan in costume, except this time looks like he might have finally met his match in Domino, because she looks pretty badass to me. But I want to know, what do you guys think of Zay as Domino? You know the deal, let us know in the comment section below. All right, from one fierce female in the Marvel Universe to another, E.T. spoke to the stars of Captain Marvel, Brie Larson, and Samuel L. Jackson within hours of each other on Sunday. And each actor gave us a little taste of what we can expect from the upcoming movie. Of course, we've seen the success of Wonder Woman in the DC Universe. Does that make you more excited about it? Do you feel more pressure, less pressure? And I feel pressure in that it's a, it's a character that people love and are inspired by, and I, I see that. And so I want to do right by that, and I want people to feel like their character is honored. But from the like female standpoint, I don't understand why there's like pressure put on women, as if it's like the most like shocking concept ever that a woman can open a movie. Is like it's kind of a tired concept. Like we've proved it for a long time. So I don't feel pressure in that way at all. It has been confirmed, and we just spoke to Brie, that you will be in the Captain Marvel film, so we're yes. very excited about that. With two eyes, that. I heard. Oh, okay. Yeah, That'll right. be good, because it's in the 90s. Yeah. So what are you most excited about doing that film and playing Nick with Hanging out two with Brie? Brie's yeah. like awesome. Brie's my girl. Sadly, we've got to wait until 2019 for Captain Marvel, but something tells me it will be worth the wait. Speaking of, Fans of Game of Thrones had to wait seven seasons before two beloved characters in the series finally got to meet. Now, if you know me, then you know I've literally only watched one episode of Game of Thrones ever, 
That's why our girl Leanne Aguilera is here for a quick <laughs> recap of Sunday night's episode. What's up? Hi, Denny. Talk to me. Okay, for a president like me outside of this world, I feel like everyone is always losing their minds watching the show. Why was last night such a big deal? Last night was a huge deal, Denny, because for the first time ever, Daenerys Targaryen and Jon Snow came face to face. But believe it or not, that was the least exciting part of the episode. It was all about watching some amazing ladies get revenge. Okay, I'm we, into that. We first watched Sir get revenge because her daughter was killed last season and she killed Alaria's daughter in the exact same way that Marcella was killed. Vicious girl, vicious. Also, Elena Tarell was sentenced to death but she went out on top. She confessed to Jamie that she killed his own son, Joffrey. <gasps> <gasps> Gasp! It was amazing. It was an epic moment. I know it doesn't make any sense. I'm at all. just gonna have to take your word for it. <laughs> but for all you diehard fans out there, though, this morning Leanne dropped a new episode of our Game of Thrones recap show, Westeros Weekly, with special guest, Better Call Saul's Patrick Fabian. Y'all are breaking down a very important theory. We are. Yeah. Okay, so once again, this is not going to make any sense to you, but for you Game know. of Thrones fans out there, you know that Cersei has a prophecy, and it is predicted that she will die at the hands of one of her brothers. And we talked with Nikolai coster waldo about whether or not he thinks this theory could be true. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> no clue. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, you guys, you can catch that new episode. It's up on ET's YouTube channel now. Thank you, Leanne. Thank you, Jenny. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. All right, that's it for today, but we are continuing the fun over on the community tab, so be sure to subscribe to our channel because, as you can tell, there is plenty to discuss. You can also visit etonline.com for all these stories and a whole lot more. Talk to you guys soon. Bye!